So here we are with the brand new Maserati MC20. MC stands for Maserati Corsa, 20 for the year 2020. Not only is this car the beginning of a new era for Maserati, but also a strong departure in our design philosophy for Maserati going forward. One of my favorite elements on the Maserati MC20 are the very dramatic doors that open in supercar-worthy butterfly style. But besides the dramatic look it offers, there's really mostly an, a functional reason we opted for this choice. And that is the ease of ingress and egress with this wide opening. And also to allow the customer to truly enjoy the beauty of the engineering part of this car, the carbon fiber top. Once you're in the interior of the Maserati MC20, you will see that this is all about keeping your eyes on the road, all about avoiding distraction, but also all about absolute cabin space and comfort. This car is race track ready, but at the same time will give you the space and the comfort and the amenities and the technology to go the long distance travel. You will see very pure shapes, very pure form. You will see that the center console is moved very low, very much out of the way, only housing the most important features, which is the drive mode selector, which is the selector to change between manual and drive, and then the park, of course. Everything else is remaining very, very pure, and you can operate the rest of the car all from your fingertips and the steering wheel with all the controls, and of course, the Maserati iconic pedal shifters. A very cool technology part of the car is what you see here, an additional rear view camera, which in addition to the normal rear view camera that you already know from your car, provides an image to the rear view mirror. So even though you're sitting in a mid-engine car, you will always have a very unobstructed view of what is behind you. And another very cool feature is this abstract uh, trident uh, that we use to cool the engine compartment with, of excessive heat giving the car a very iconic and very characterful detail. Every project starts with a package. Every project starts with what we call the Y0 line. The Y0 line is what defines the silhouette. It's the center line of the car. It defines the shape of the cockpit. It defines the approach of the engine compartment. And for a car like the MC20, most importantly, it also defines the aerodynamic characteristics. And because we were able to create the perfect Y0 line for the MC20, we are able to avoid any additional need for a spoiler, which again helps us with our design philosophy of remaining pure and timeless and avoiding any unnecessary distraction. As always, 
It all starts with what I think is one of the most iconic badges in the industry, the Maserati Trident. Beautifully framed by this interesting grille that brings together the design philosophy of the very clean, hand-sculpted upper of the car with a very much computer design, purely functional, almost raw engineering lower of the car, bringing these two worlds together. Beautiful sculpture, but also performance-oriented engineering. So the design philosophy of Kios continues on the side of the Maserati MC20. What you see here is a very beautiful hand-sculpted, very pure and timeless upper shell of the car. And at the same time, in contrast, we have a very computer-designed, engineering-led, almost raw uh, performing surfaces on the lower part of the car. The idea behind is that on the upper part, we really want to purify the car. We really want to only focus on the essential. We want to avoid distraction. Normally, air intakes get excessively celebrated. On this car, as an alternative, we offer a design that is very pure, where air intakes are not the main protagonist, but it's actually the proportion and the sculpture of the car. But at the same time, of course, we offer the eye some very iconic Maserati design elements. It starts, of course, with the trident framed by our typical triangular C-post. And of course, we also have the three portholes, which normally on a Maserati you would find on the front fender as it is there to help cool the engine. But since, of course, the V6 is mid-engine mounted, we have it right here next to the engine. Another very iconic element on the car are the wheels that are inspired by dramatic, iconic designs of the past in the Gran Turismo lineup, for example, but also inspired by the Birdcage concept car. So, of course, proportions are the most important part about every Maserati we design. The MC20 is no exception. It already starts with a width of almost two meters, but on top of that, we use graphic elements like these very slim, very horizontal tail lights that further enhance the width, the perceived width of the car and therefore the proportion. You also see that the ratio of carbon fiber to upper shell has increased to signify the business end of the car, the performing part of the car with exhaust, with cooling, with aerodynamic uh, floor features.